Once you've decided what you want to see in Antarctica, which in turn dictates what time of year you visit, the next big decision is choosing a cruise vessel. When choosing a polar cruise vessel, there are three main considerations. Size, facilities and activities. Let's deal with size first. The larger vessels carrying 250 to 600 passengers can seem a more affordable option at first. However, as a general rule of thumb, the larger the vessel, the less time you'll spend on the ice and the less time you'll spend with the experts. The largest ships will offer one landing a day and this is often supplemented by a small boat or zodiac cruise which will get you closer to the scenery and closer to the ice. The smaller cruise ships have access to a greater range of landing sites and disembarkation is a lot more straightforward with 70 to 130 passengers. So they can enjoy two landings a day. All cruise ships in Antarctica are only permitted to have 100 passengers ashore at one time. Therefore, on a larger vessel you'll have to take turns to go ashore. Even though the small ships will get you more time ashore, the mid-sized ships do a really good job of reducing this effect by taking passengers kayaking or paddleboarding, which are not technically landings. But bear in mind once again, these activities often come with an additional cost. Moving on to facilities. It's important not to confuse these vessels with your average cruise liner. These are functioning scientific ships, which means there'll be no cabaret, no tribute acts, and no line dancing lessons. But you can expect a lecture theater and a well-stocked library to help you with your research during the trip. The larger vessels will offer a touch more luxury, enhanced dining facilities, and a little more space. However, the smaller vessels provide a more intimate experience and an opportunity to get to know your fellow passengers, the crew and the scientists better. Some vessels also provide equipment like rubber boots or a polar parka. This will save you valuable space and weight whilst packing your bags and in many cases the polar parka is yours to take home after the voyage. The last consideration are the activities available on board. These days there's an increasing range of activities and these include kayaking, paddle boarding, zodiac or small boat trips, mountaineering, scuba diving and photography workshops. If there's a particular activity that you want to try, it's very important to check before you make your booking to make sure that the vessel that you choose has the right facilities and the right equipment. So there you have it, we've given you a few ideas to help you choose the right polar vessel for you. But once you've had some time to think it through, why not give us a call and talk to our experts? We're always happy to have a no strings attached chat and help you make your plans.